Hi, it's Jess here from Nigella Creates. Thank you for joining me today. So I've got my little gel plate here. Um, I've been wanting to play with my jelly plate for a long time, but my, my room's just too much of a mess. But um, I thought, well, let me play with a little one. I might just be able to squeeze enough room for that. So um, I'm going to be following um, Suzanne at Nonstop Paper Crafting, sort of weekly um prompts i don't promise to do every week but you know we'll try um and what she's got she's got three envelopes and there's like different prompts in each one's um a color one's and then the other two are something else uh, i can't remember the themes in each envelope anyway so and she's pulling one from each each week to give the three prompts and this week is i think she's doing it every tuesday and this week is sweet dark blue and scrap um and she's doing it on index cards because she's got loads of them um i've probably got a load of index cards but what i've got shed loads of are these things i've got quite a number of packets of them so these are the invites that you get in a stamping up demonstrate a starter pack um and you know they're designed to sort of send out and invite people to come and um go to people's houses and have a, a stamping up evening um they're just not used um we don't do it i did years ago when i used to do party plan and um, and these sort of things were a godsend um but yeah not using them um i've had local people join my team and not use them and went do you want them and i'm gone yeah so i do have half a dozen packs of these they're quite a nice size they're like a quarter size of a4 um so um they're like four and an eighth by like five and seven eighths thereabouts so they'll fit on this little thing i wanted i wanted some quick coverage so i have i've also recently got i was gonna do some holes in it and i was gonna do um you know just a little loose ring bind but then i got this um, recently in the charity shop and it does the six holes so it does actually fit a file of facts although I think this probably be a bit too wide for the file of facts although I think I did try it and it was okay um, so um, so I've I've punched the holes in these ones and um, and so I thought I'd get three little rings and then I'd bind them all together and I'd have something nice to look back on so I wanted to quick coverage so I've done these in gesso but that's not really quick um because you have to do one side and then wait for it to dry and do and do the other and i kind of wanted one side playing so i thought i might write um so so i did a load of these um and then i started experimenting with covering them so with blue in mind i used some um distress oxide spray um on these um and i've got a stain spray just a stay spray stain spray as well um to give me this on the other side on top of the gesso i did a little bit of spraying as well i quite like that effect um i did put a little bit of paper in the air to spray down to see if it would just go around the edge and then i got a straight line which was silly um that was more random i quite like that effect that was doing it straight on the card without the gesso um i prefer that but it is one more step and then um, on this one, that's just gessoed and then I've just used my ink, uh, my blending brush with the ink to go over it. Quite like that. That gives me the chance to write. And then on this side, I've tried a few different, different things to start decorating. And then I thought, let's, let's get a video done. I'm playing, I'm enjoying myself, but let's get a video done because I was looking at the month and I need a few um, to fill my month up. So I then thought, how can I maybe do it a lot quicker? And I thought gel plate might do it a lot quicker. So I've got some really cheap um, acrylic paint. This is from Wilco. Wilco went out of business, sadly. But I picked this up in a charity shop for £1.50. Um, and um, and I, so I thought, all right, we'll do that. I've left the grunge on this. I don't so much on a big one. Well, actually, I think I do because it sometimes gives you some interesting patterns. So we'll see. So this was my thoughts was, um, do you know, I think this is absolutely brand spanking new. because It's not even got the foil off. Um, 
I mean, you usually pay about three quid for these new. So I was quite pleased with £1.50. Also gives to charity. I always think the charity shops are, it's a win-win. I'm giving to charity. And, um, and I'm getting something a bit cheaper. So, yeah. I'm not wearing gloves. My hands are already messy. Otherwise, I might have done. So, yeah. So, I thought this might be a quick way, might not, of covering. We shall see. That is far too much, I think, but never mind. Right, so, there we go. I was watching my YouTube friend, Cara Renee, of Be Reborn Art and Healing, and she was playing with her gel plate. She got a new one, a massive one for Christmas. And I was like, yeah, I want to do that. But I just felt like my room was in too much of a mess. But here we are. Right. The, it's slightly shiny, this stuff. Um, so, not sure. Not sure how this is going to go. I've got some book pages that I can't find. Oh, I'll just use my glue book. Um, just to, uh, although that is quite thick, Jess. I might, I might, um, might change my mind. But there we go. Um, just to take the paint off the sides. See what happens. So I'm not doing anything funky. Yeah, so that was that. That's not been a brilliant success. That to give a white coverage. That's not been massively successful. It might be because it's a bit shiny. Anyway, let's put some blue on. And see what happens because for this first challenge it's dark blue and I thought oh maybe I can get a bit of a dark blue pattern going right this is I've always I thought that when I got it out I thought I think this might be more purple um, than blue it's called cobalt blue so yeah I think it's quite purple I'm just gonna clean off my brayer. I think there might be too much paint going on. So that's, I know it's got white underneath. It's actually dried quite quickly. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to grab another one. Go on the other side, like that. Let me get another piece of paper. This is thinner paper. Keep the thick one for brushing off. Use the thin one for on the back. That feels better. That feels better. Yeah, there was too much, too much paint on the other one. Although that one's not come off very well. Getting bluer. It's not exactly what I want. It's getting closer to it. Um, I might pull a bit more of this off as there's some left. Don't mind leaving some of it on. I do love to just have a little bit of a play. Yeah, it's definitely working better on this side than on that side. 
So I'm wondering if that is definitely a bit purple. I'm going to add this satin acrylic paint, which is blue. Oh, a little bit of um, separation going on there. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe I'll go over the gessoed one. Going to end up with quite a nice sheet here. There, you can see, or well, you might not see because there's a bit of glare there. You can see when you run over that you're removing excess paint. Oh, I didn't want to go on the mat. But hey ho, I did. Um, so I'm going to use one of the ones that's gessoed and see if it sticks to the gesso. So that's been gessoed on that side. So I'm going to put that on there. Um, I might. Go down the centre of that one. So I'm just trying to find a quick way of adding an interesting background. I might find that just putting just just on both sides is actually the quickest way, Jess. So see what we get with this one. That's added a little stripe down the centre. Very translucent. So what do we get with the one that's got a bit of gesso on it? Oh, absolutely marvellous. That's the sort of thing I was going for. Yeah. So gesso and then a bit of jelly printing. And what's really nice with the gesso is you've got some texture going on there. Yeah, that's definitely the one that's that's working there. Yeah, I like that. So we only want one with dark blue on it. So whilst we've got the thing out, I might add a few other things. I'm wondering if... We did a little bit of sanding on that first, if that would help matters. I'm going to move this. There we go. I'm not sure if that's quicker than... Uh... Oh, that's pulling up what's, what's, what's been left on there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that will be quicker in the long run. Um, it will certainly hurt my hand a bit more. Um, let's have some different colours now. Um, let's put... What have we got here? Sienna. Put a bit of that on. There we go. And I've got okra. And we've got some ombre. Nice little neutral colours going on there. And let's just see what we get. Far too much. Oh! Does anybody see what I've just done? I've just rolled that over that. So it doesn't need jelly printing. That is another way of doing it, actually, Jez, isn't it? Let's see. 
let's try that without the uh, without the sand in if I just roll it over that is giving a massive coverage there quite quickly quite like that little grungy look I do no I don't want to do it on the other side the other side I am um, got ideas for right let's pick up some more of this all right we're getting less off now so certainly where there's an abundance we're getting lots off right I want I want to put some sort of mark making on there let me find some stencils I don't know why I didn't get them out in the first place I'll try that one there almost centered that Jess <laughs> almost but you didn't did you right so let's push that down And let's get ones with the white on the back. So put that on there. And another one on there. So, oh, you moved. Oh, well, there you go. That was my idea, so that we get a bit of a print. That one would have, should have been better. Let's pull that up. Yeah, it's quite nice print going on there. So now we'll pull this up. I like. right so now i want to put another color on that oh i've got a gold oh i don't think i've tried my gold on my jelly print all right let's have a little look see i've probably not left this to dry long enough that's what i think i should have done left it to dry a bit longer Let's try a bit of a bit of wafting before I oh well. It is what it is, Jess. There we go, let's put this gold over it. Let's see what that does. thin layer of gold might be taking far too much off there Jess we are now just going to shall we make a new print yeah let's do that Jess right we haven't got our sanded one so let's get a gesso one oh I've already done some partial bits on this. I might add it to that. So let's go where I think it looks a bit better. We'll go down there. And then we'll have just a bit on the other side. Go on top of that one. Yeah, I'll do that. See what happens. 
And I think the moral of the story here is just play. Just play, see what works. I have a little level of understanding a little bit in terms of layering, letting dry, whatever, because I've watched 65 million YouTube videos. But at the end of the day, just just have a go. I didn't mean you to get picked up, but hey ho. Right, we're getting all a little bit so that it, it's difficult for anybody watching this just to have any clue about what's going on. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I don't know if that's coming out on camera, but there is a little bit of floral nonsense going on there. Let's see this one. Yep. There is a little flower going on there. Subtle. I like a bit of subtle. I'm not always good at it. <laughs> In different circumstances. There. Yeah. Quite happy with that. I seem to have left a little bit of paper down. Quite like that. Don't mind doing that. So, um, I might try and put a little bit of paint down. I'm wondering, I'm going to use, this is a palette to put on here, so I'm not blobbing masses. Right, so what I'm going to do, put that there, take this off. So there is, I can sort of see the flower going on there. There we go. Give that a little bit of a rub. So I don't want to waste that paint. And that gives that a bit of a chance to dry. Let's see if that's done anything. Not a lot, because I think most of it had dried, actually. Yeah, it's really not done anything, except make it darker, which is fine. Okay, so, got this. So let's put something else on the back there. I might add it to this a bit more. Um, so let's go for, let's go really out there. Oh, try not to get the dried paint on it. It's really not a good look. There, that might be enough, Jez. not a lot and I think instead of going in I think it's just took that gold up actually I might come in there where there's some grungy business going on and see if I pick a bit of that up Get one of the others. Give that a big rub. You can feel your hand getting warm as you rub over it. So I've got bits of gold on there. It's an indistinguishable pattern, but there's something on there. <laughs> a bit more bit more of the uh, paper here's come off um, that's just a really really grungy background which is what I actually wanted a nice grungy background I'm gonna see if I can pick this up um, there so let's try these colors Love that one and that one. I think these will go nicely together. Nice little ombre effect going on there. There's a little bit too much ink there, paint even. 
there like that stick a bit of blue on here this will be nice for something i'm sure um and let's put that on top of one of these that we've acrylicked. I want to see if I can get that bit there that's got some paper on it. Let's see if that will come up. Put that down and that down. So I think it needs leaving a bit. I'm going around the edges there so I make sure I've got all the paint up. It's going to come up and then I might. I'm not sure if that bit of paper will come up. But whilst we're doing that, let's create the illusion of a clear of a clear desk so that's got a bit on that's a bit of a background but really it needs um something more to cover it up that was the darker one but again we can still see the underneath through that that one is a bit grungy i think this was like the first roll um not bad we've got here we did succeed in getting some flour on there mm, that was the accident um again we've got some nice rollering and this was the first one with the gesso that that did work and um and then we've got a little bit of extra on and this one is building up building up nicely so they are drying quite quickly so that's been left a bit let's let's see what we uh what we end up with i'm gonna move a few of these out of the way i do have a little trolley that goes under my desk that i keep all my paints on so it's quite handy just pull it out and there they are um so it's about the only thing that's handy so let's pull this side up. Oh, we've got a nice clear gel plate there. Oh yeah, I like that. That has take, brought up everything near enough that was down there, including some very old grunge. And um, can you see? Oh, difficult to see now. You come up there too close. There. We've got bits of gold, bits of really dark grunge. I like it. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So let's see what we get with this one. All right, we've got some of that paper up. which is what I wanted. Some of that paper there, there's still a little bit left down there, but got some of that ancient grunge. That's really nice, I'm liking that. So that's on top of the gesso. That's given us quite a good background. So some of these will, will be sort of left for future future projects that that I do um, and some look that's almost exactly the same shape because that's where it came from and some I want to use sort of right now um, but I think that I really need to gesso it now what I'm wondering is that now this has got the base of paint on if that is a good enough surface to to lift off um, a pattern so that's what I'm thinking we might try 
now so I might go for a bit of a bit of this and see if we can get that paper up now oh, a lot a lot on there so let's wheel this on it it's almost like you've put a filter over it and just changed the colour underneath, which is not bad. Oh, I don't really want to do that. So, there we go, have a bit of that. Um, I'm going to try the bubble wrap. Make sure you do the bit with the bubble down the bottom. Oh, they've both got bubble down the bottom. So I'm going to put some bubble wrap over there. And I'm going to bring in my grungy one. And I'm going to put the bubble wrap down on this. Because when I take it off, there'll be paint on it. So I've got paint on that, so I'm going to use that almost like a stamp pad, an ink pad, a stamp even. <laughs> you know what I mean? One of them. So, got a little bit on there. Right, so, this has now got got to dry a bit and then I'm going to put this on top I think that potentially is going to make a really nice effect so we got that there um, which one shall I now go with I go with that one oh, pull that off right let's give this a nice a nice rub a nice warming rub so what I'm hoping is that the first layer of acrylic paint will enable whatever's on there to grab Oh, it's certainly a bit harder to pull there and we've got our little circles from the bubble wrap yep so let's see what's going to happen to this one oh yeah there lots and lots of coverage on that yeah so that's worked so that would be quicker a quick roll of acrylic paint let it dry and then add some patterns to it yeah liking that so i am thinking i'm going to take this one i want a dark blue background so if i do a light blue followed by a dark blue that will work so if i go because the color that is more prominent was the one that I put second. So if I have this as a background, and that will be rolled off onto this. So I put this all over. Bear in mind, there's loads of gunge under this that could also be adding interest. And I'm going to put that over that. It's a bit of me that's thinking why don't I just add a drop of that directly to it layer it on directly so that's giving it a nice a nice color so now we're going to go in with the dark blue so I've not pulled this off but it's a really really thin layer so 
I'm going to roll this off onto this background sheet here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to use the other side. This is the inside of a jiffy envelope. So the bubbles are actually on both sides. Pull that up. That's come up nicely. I'm going to put these down on top of this one like I did before. Yeah, that's then given us a little little bit of blue grunginess to that. So now, I love that colour. It is really like photo filters going on. Put that down on there. And we have another layer on here. There we go. Give these a good rub. Let me roll the sleeves. They're one of my favourite tops up. I need to think about what I wear sometimes when I do these messy things. But where would be the fun of that? getting nicely covered I can see the circles but this one let's see this is the one that I've got my fingers crossed for oh yeah I like that I can still see invited on it but I quite like that so that's it done in the blue and that's it done in the brown obviously is a much darker colour, so we've got a much darker background, but I really like those. I'm not sure if that's really counting necessarily as dark blue, but I think that would work. I think we can possibly work on that then for our, our card. We've got a couple of options of what we can use. So quite happy with that. Um, there's a bit of me that wants to try and really pick that up. Sometimes, I know I watch Kerry the Crafter and he just sort of like does one final pull to, to clean it up. Um, so might put a little bit of this cobalt on it because I like it. I'm going to get another piece. I think of dictionary paper so it's quite thin I've got a scrap of music paper to go down that edge have I got another scrap for the other edge oh look I've got another scrap here to go down here which I may then use in my card because it asks for a scrap. So let's give these a really good rub to see if this will clean the plate off. Sometimes I'm just too impatient and want to pull it really quickly. All right, let's try this side bit. That's pulled up quite a bit. Not bad. See this one? Yeah, got a tiny, tiny little bit. Something on there. So now let's try this one. Oh, it's adding to the that into the paper sticking to the mat <laughs> yep oh maybe this paper was a little bit too thin
quite like that. We've got a planet there. Got a bit of grunge. We are creating scraps. Just gently pulling the edges up. Don't want to damage my gel plate. I've just picked it up. I thought I'd show this. And as I pulled the jelly plate back, the paper's coming off. So that's okay. Let's see if I can get these other bits off. I'll let those bits be. So now I'm going to put all this little. Let me pull on my blue ones. Blue. 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 That I've made. And I've got my original blue one. But you didn't see me make that. So we've got these. Um, we've got a scrap. It's a better match for that one. Hmm. Don't know what the sweet's going to be. Well, I had a thought about the sweet. So my thought about the sweet is this sweet little child there. Because that's got a bit of brown on it. That was my thoughts. Ruler. Ruler for ripping. So these were the ladies that I used in my boho journal. But I never used this one because she was just too little. But she does look incredibly sweet. Quite like. Now, oh, I'm sure I did it that way around. I'm thinking if I'm going to put my holes in this. So it's ever so slightly too small. So what I, what I did was I just eyeballed it to be lined up in the middle. So that's made that decision. So we want to make sure we've got some space. Um, we need a scrap. So this was a scrap that I also put some blue on. So rip that down. We've got this scrap. That's quite cool. Um, and then I think she needs something else. We've got a scrap, we've got a sweet, we've got a dark blue. But I do want something else. So I'm just looking around my desk for something else that I met. Oh, I've got these die cuts that are, again, scraps just laying around. I'm now thinking I don't need that. Just go for that with the black. That. I'm liking, and whereas I might normally ink that, I'm, I'm like, hmm, do I want to? Let's, let's see. I'll ink her anyway. So was this a gesso? No, this was not gesso. This was just acrylic painted. I think I will on that. The rest doesn't need inking. Make a bit of inking on this. We'll tie it in nicely. And I like that I've got all that on the end there. There we go. Yeah. Like it, like it. We're doing that. So, a bit of glue. And that'll be my first week prompt done. Managed to play with my jelly plate a bit. 
got some bases done for future prompts and other things. So Suzanne is sharing this challenge in uh, junk journaling for everyone and in her own group and um, she's doing it on her YouTube channel and I thought I'd do, I'd, well I'd be sharing it in my Facebook group as well. So lots of places to do it. I'm not using altered cards, um, as you can tell. Um, I'm, you know, I've sort of said, you know, do do use what you've got. Cute, sweet is the word, Jez. So I've had some of these die cuts hanging around for years, so it's nice. So have these little challenges to use them up. There we go. That is the first week done. I've had a little play with my jelly plate. I've got lots and lots of bases started for future ones i've learned what works what doesn't work and um yeah and i've had a play and i finally got my jelly plate out after a very long time and um gosh i've got loads Loads and loads, that one you didn't do at all. That was just a mess. Yeah, so with the jelly plate, we did that one, that one, that one, that one. That was done before, that one. A little bit of added to that one. These were just rolling ring off, and those two I did before I came on camera. So, yeah. Hope that encourage you to have a little play and um, doesn't matter if you don't know what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing, but we got something in the end that I like. OK, bye for now. Hope you um, will join in. I'll put some links down below and um, I will be back again very, very soon. Probably my next video will be the next um, page in the um, Junk Journal January. Okay, bye for now.